So this video is going to be based on a comment that I got from one of my watchers and they said, can you please make a video only about higher tax pensions and how to claim back the extra 20%? First of all, I just want to say a big thank you to Jay for your comment. And you also mentioned some other nice things about my video and it is all really appreciated. So yeah, without further ado, let's understand how someone on a higher income bracket can claim on their pension tax relief. I'm Kozan from Financial Madness, helping you be better with your money. So the tax system itself is quite complex. So before I go into the detail about how to claim the extra tax relief, I think it's really important to have a quick recap on how the tax relief on pensions work. So every time you make a contribution to your private pension, now this can be a pension through your workplace or a personal private pension that you have set up, the government rewards you for saving for your retirement and they do this by making sure that any contributions that you make to your pension is eligible for tax relief. Now the reason why we do have this tax relief set up is because the government wants to make sure that any contributions that you do make to your pension is not subject to income tax. However, because income tax is deducted by source, which means that it is usually the first to be deducted from your paycheck, especially if you are an employee on a PAYE scheme, then the workaround to solve this is that HMRC will offer you relief every time you make a contribution. Now, the amount of relief that you are entitled to does depend on which income bracket you fall under. For those that pay no income tax or are a basic rate earner, you get tax relief on 20% of your contributions. For those that are higher rate earners, you get 40%. And for those that are in the additional rate income bracket, you get 45% relief. In simple terms, that means if you contribute £100 towards your pension and you are a basic income earner or you pay no income tax, this actually only costs you £80. If you are a higher rate earner, this only costs you £60. And if you are an additional rate earner, this costs you £55 with the difference being made by HMRC in the form of tax relief. So that is the high level concept. In reality, for those on higher income brackets, they only get the extra boost on any income that is above the income bracket threshold. For example, let's say that I am a higher rate earner, which means that I am entitled to 40% in pension tax relief. However, that 40% can only be applied to the income that is above the higher rate threshold. And in this tax year, that currently stands at £50,270. And whilst those on the basic rate of income tax don't actually have to do anything, as their employers will claim the relief from HMRCs themselves, it is most likely that for those on the higher rate income, you will have to actively apply for the extra boost yourselves. And I will provide some guidance on how to do this a little bit later on in my video. Now, there are exceptions to this rule, as there are some cases where higher income earners will not have to actively pursue getting the extra boost in tax relief. And that is because some of their providers will operate under what is called a net pay arrangement, which means for you lucky higher earners, you don't actually have to do anything as your provider will collect the extra tax relief for you. So to quickly summarize, if you are a higher rate income earner and your provider operates under a net pay arrangement, you don't have to do anything to claim on the extra boost in your pension tax relief. If, however, they operate under relief at source, which will be the case for most of you, you will have to actively claim it. Now, if you are unsure about which of the following arrangements your provider operates under, uh, please do reach out to them to confirm this. Now, I know that was quite a lot of information, but let's just go through a quick example, just so you can have a really good understanding about how this relief works. So let's say, for example, we earn at £60,000 per year. That means we fall under the category of being a higher rate income earner. And that means we pay 40% of income tax on any amount that is above the higher rate threshold, which currently stands at £50,270. And that means that 40% charge is only applied to the last £9,729. In one year, you contribute £15,000 to your private pension and you automatically get the 20% tax relief on the full £15,000. And remember that your provider does this for you automatically. But because you are a higher income earner, you can claim the extra 20% tax relief on the 9,729 part of your contribution. 
contribution. That means for that proportion of contributions, you can get another 20% tax relief added on top. But whatever is remaining, you cannot get extra tax relief on. So in this example, it would be 15,000 minus 9,729. That means for the remaining 5,271, I won't be able to claim on the extra tax relief. It is only the 9,729 part. So why even bother doing this? Well, ensuring that you claim all of the tax relief that you are entitled to means that you get more rewards for saving towards your pension. That's meaning there is more money in your pot for retirement. And if this is done over in the long run, that means it is likely that your pot will compound significantly, therefore leaving you with even more money when you do hit retirement. Now, before I jump in on how to actually make the claim, I do want to let you know that there is a possible alternative that may not require you to do those steps at all. Now, this is only going to be specific to you if you are employed, and that is that your employer could offer you the opportunity to contribute to your private pension through salary sacrifice. Now, I have done a full on video on salary sacrifice, and I'll put a link in the card and in the description box down below if you want to find out more about this. But yes, if you are a higher income earner and you are contributing through your pension through salary sacrifice, then you also don't have to worry about actively claiming on the extra relief as it is worked out slightly differently. That's why I would strongly encourage you to actually reach out to your employer to understand how you can contribute towards your pension as there could be several options available to you. So let's understand how you can claim the extra boost in tax relief towards your pension. Now remember, this is only gonna be applicable to you if your provider operates a relief at source and you are a higher rate or additional rate income earner. Now you actually have two ways to actively claim on this extra boost in pension tax relief. The first one will be that it is part of your self-assessment tax returns. Now the second one is for people that don't actually do self-assessment tax returns and you can actually call HMRC or contact them by post and you can sort it out that way. Now, before I go into each of these two methods, I do want to state that you can actually apply for any unclaimed tax relief that date back in the last four years. So taking today as an example, we are currently in the tax year 2021 to 2022. That means if I am eligible, I can claim all the way back to the tax year of 2017 to 2018. And lastly, it is important to note that for any period that you would like to claim tax relief on, you should do this once that tax year has elapsed. So you should be claiming it after the 5th of April of any given year. So if I wanted to claim for this tax year, for example, 2021 to 2022, I would have to wait till after the 5th of April 2022 to make my claim. Now, there are deadlines for submitting your self-assessment tax returns, and it is all dependent on how you have claimed it and if you need to make a payment. But to give you a slight gauge, if we look at the deadlines for the tax year that has just passed, the deadlines range from the 5th of October to the 31st of January 2022 to complete your submission. Now, looking at claiming the relief through self-assessment tax returns, now you do your tax returns online through the government portal, and I'll put a link in the description box on how you can get one set up if you haven't done so already. Now, let's jump straight into the form, and there is actually a specific section for claiming tax relief on your pension. Now, I am viewing the SA100 tax return form, for 2021 alongside with the help document that is also provided. I'll put links in the description box down below. But yeah, as you can see under the tax relief section, which is on page six of the document. Now for most cases, if your employer does relief at source for your basic income, you will just need to fill out box one, which says payments to registered pension schemes where basic rate tax relief will be claimed by your pension provider called relief at source. Enter the payment and basic rate tax. Now, if this makes absolutely no sense to you whatsoever, let's also look at the help document that is also provided. And it says, under the relief at source system, your pension provider claims basic rate tax relief of 20% on your personal contributions and adds that to your pension pot. Put the total amount in box one, that is your personal contributions paid into the scheme, plus the basic rate tax relief. Now, if we look at the example that is provided, it says Emma paid 700 pounds into her pension scheme. So she puts £875 in box one. Now this is calculated as £700 divided by 80 and then multiplied by 100, which is her net payment plus the tax relief of £175. Now let's go back and use the example that I used earlier when we had an individual who was earning £60,000 per year 
and contributed £15,000 to her pension for one given tax year. The number that we would have to put in in this case would be £15,000 divided by 80 times by 100, and that equals to 18,750. Now this number represents both the individual's own contributions of 15,000 pounds, but also the 20% tax relief that would have automatically been taken from HMRC, and that totaled to 3,750 pounds. A few moments later. I also wanted to add something that I actually didn't put in my original recording. Now, apologies if you can't tell from my voice, I am suffering from a bit of a sore throat. Uh, but don't worry, I have taken several tests and thankfully it isn't COVID. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to give some additional insight on how the relief actually works and the benefit to the person making the contribution. So once you have provided this number, HMRC will then adjust your tax for the year accordingly. What they essentially do is increase your basic rate threshold by £18,750. Now, if you look at the bands for this year, and assuming all things are the same for next year, that means your basic rate threshold would increase from 50270 to £69,020. So essentially, for the following tax year, the person will be paying less higher rate tax, of course, assuming everything stays the same and they haven't taken a pay cut or a pay increase, which is, of course, a great benefit to the individual. Also, one thing that I wanted to add is that typically when we talk about threshold changes, they are often referred to as a change to the basic rate band. And this is not what I described earlier. Now, this bit can get a bit confusing, but please do stick with me on this. The basic rate band simply means the basic rate threshold minus the personal allowance. So the standard basic rate band currently stands at £37,700. That is £50,270 minus the personal allowance of £12,570. And with this, the tax relief means that it will bump it up by 18750 meaning the basic rate band for the following tax year would be £56,450. Now this is really just some extra jargon that I really didn't have to add into this video, but usually when it comes to discussing the pension tax relief and its workings, it is usually referred to as an impact on the basic rate band. So this is why I thought it was worth mentioning here, but essentially both methods mean the exact same thing. All in all, the individual pays less higher rate tax in the following year. The second method is that you can call or write to HMRC to claim on the relief and I'll put their contact details in the description box down below. Now I actually called HMRC to clarify what this process actually looks like and it seems very, very straightforward. When you do call up, you do have to provide them with your national insurance number along with also basic information such as your name, date of birth, your postcode uh, and address and you basically just need to tell them what your gross contributions for that year was so again this will be your own contribution plus the 20 percent relief that you got from hmrc so that's going to be the same number that i demonstrated to you in the tax relief form you can also do the exact same thing but write to them uh, you just have to make sure that on your letter along with your gross contributions you do have to make sure your personal details are on there too uh, otherwise it might not go through and yeah it's as simple as that uh, one note that if you are calling hmrc i did try to call them the other day around about mid-afternoon, I was put on hold for about an hour and then I sort of gave up. And then I tried again this morning at 8 a.m. when their phone lines open and I was put straight through an operator. Uh, so just a quick tip there. They also have a web chat if you do have any further questions, but I do find it a bit temperamental and I haven't actually managed to get through to anyone. Cool, so that is it for this week's episode. Hopefully now you understand how to claim on the extra tax relief if you are a higher rate income earner or an additional rate earner. If you do have any further questions, please obviously do let me know in the description box down below. And yes, if you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate if you smash that like button. That does wonders for the growth of my YouTube channel. And remember, I release a video every single week talking about all things personal finance. If you want to keep up to date with those, hit the subscribe button too. See you later. Bye.